Hi guys, it's Jessica, also known as One Book at a Time, and today I'll be doing my bookish favorites. I'll start out talking about uh, some of my favorite books, and then I'll move on to other bookish goodies. One of my favorite genres is middle grade. It's near and dear to my heart. I just love the whimsy of it and just the adventures and stuff that are going to only happen in middle grade. My first favorite middle grade is one that I just recently finished. And it is The Adventures Guild by Zach Lauren Clark and Nick Eliopoulos. It's about these two friends, Zed and Brock. Their city is one of the very few left in a world that's been overtaken by these monsters called Dangers. When a child comes of age, they have to join one of the guilds in their city. And they both have the guilds that they want in mind. But there's always a chance that a child could be chosen for the Adventurers Guild. The Adventurers Guild is very notorious as they're the only guild who actually leaves the walls of the city and it's probably the most dangerous. Zed and Brock get drafted into the Adventurers Guild and uh, danger and adventure ensue. Now I would be crazy to be talking about middle grade and not include Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It's about this boy Harry, he's living with his aunt and uncle and cousin. He hasn't been living the best life and then all of a sudden on his 11th birthday he gets taken away to a magical place called Hogwarts. This is definitely a children's classic. If you haven't read it yet I would definitely encourage you to. I actually didn't read it till I was probably 20. I don't know why I waited so long but I finally read it and I would encourage you to if you haven't. I'm gonna move on to now to historical, historical fiction and I'm gonna talk about The Hiding Place by Cory Ten Boom. I love this book. Uh, I first read it in school. It's about this woman, Cory, and her family. They own a small watch shop in Amsterdam and it's set in World War II. So it was just about what happens to their family during the war. Eventually they start hiding Jews. They do get caught. Cory and her various members of her family do get taken away and so it's just her story of survival and it's a definitely a very emotional and powerful story. Another classic if you also enjoy kind of World War II novels. Next I'm gonna move to one of my favorite genres which is why contemporary and I'm gonna talk about Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. It's about this girl Kath and she has a twin sister and they've always kind of been connected doing the same thing their whole life so when it's finally time for Kath and her sister to go off to college, it is time for Kath to go and make a life for herself and kind of carve her own path in the world. One of her main things is she likes to write fan fiction about this series called Simon Snow. It's kind of about her developing as a writer and kind of what it means to branch off on her own. She has to take care of her father who is an inventor and he kind of has issues of his own. And so it's kind of her story in growing up. The other contemporary I want to talk about is Geek Gorilla by Ashley Poston. I adore this book. It's a dual perspective story that follows Ellie and Darian. So Ellie, as you can guess, kind of lives in a family like Cinderella. She has her two evil stepsisters and her stepmother. One of the main memories that she has from her father is uh, this show called Starfield and a convention that her dad started called Excelsicon. So when Excelsicon is about to come, she hasn't gone for a few years and so she wants to go back. And then it also follows Darian, and there's going to be a reboot of Starfield. He's been cast in the reboot as one of the main characters, Federation Prince Carmendor. And so it follows him during filming and the expectations he has, the expectations the world has for him. And eventually they start texting and it kind of goes from there. I love this book and I definitely recommend it. Next I want to move on to Dystopian, and for that I picked Scythe by Neil Sussman. It's set in a world where kind of death has been figured out. There are more illness, famine, accident, and so the only way a person can die is if they are gleaned by a scythe. So it follows Citra and Rowan as uh, they're chosen as apprentice scythes. They're definitely skeptical at first. Neither of them want to be a scythe and so they're a little bit confused as to why they're chosen. So it just follows them during their apprenticeship and kind of what they learn from kind of the perspective of a scythe and kind of what it's like. I love the world building in this. Neil definitely did a good job and also with character development. I definitely recommend it even if you're skeptical. Now I want to talk about one of my favorite sci-fi books and that would be 
Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is definitely a very unique book. It's told entirely through interviews, video logs, instant messages, emails. Definitely that really drew me to this book. It follows Katie and Ezra as this planet that they're on has been attacked. They escape on these ships and then all of a sudden there's an outbreak that happens on the ship. So just their story of survival and trying to save the other people who escaped with them. The world building in this also was very well done and I enjoyed all the characters and the sequel Gemini was really well done as well. So if you haven't read these yet, definitely go give them a try. Next I want to talk about fantasy and one of my favorite series is Throwing the Glass. It follows Selena Sardothian. She's an assassin and she gets called in to see the king and to be the king's champion and so she has to fight for the king, go on missions as an assassin. It follows her and she meets the crown prince and the captain of the guard. Definitely a classic in the YA fantasy genre. I definitely recommend it. I really enjoyed these books. The other YA duology I want to talk about is Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. I really enjoy these books. They're set in the Grishaverse, which is one of my favorite fantasy worlds. The magic system is absolutely wonderful and different than anything else I've ever read. That's probably why I picked these up after I finished the original Grisha trilogy. It follows this whole crew of characters, Kaz, Inej, Nina, Matthias, Jesper, a whole lot of other characters. The characters are really well developed in this book and they're the blend of growth that they experience through the book but also how they stay true to the way they, they were written was really well done. That's probably an element that I also really enjoyed about this book. And the way the storyline flowed from Six of Crows into Crooked Kingdom I thought was very well done as well. In the last couple chapters of Six of Crows I didn't know where it was going to go in the second book but the direction it took definitely was a surprise and you get sucked into the story which is what I want in a fantasy. Definitely one of my favorite fantasy series. Now the last genre I want to talk about is a mystery thriller and so for YA I talk about uh, Stalking Jack the Ripper. I also really really enjoy these books. I can't wait for Escaping from Houdini to come out later this year. Uh, it follows Audrey Rose Wadsworth and Thomas Cresswell. Different characters from history are kind of incorporated into this book. So in this book it follows Jack the Ripper. In the second book it has Prince Dracula and in the third book it'll incorporate Houdini. And that's probably one of my favorite elements of these books. So in this one in particular, it is set in Victorian London. It's a time that I really enjoy reading about. All of a sudden these attacks start happening and it's like Jack the Ripper all over again. So Audrey Rose is really determined to help solve this mystery and she has a fascination with uh, medicine and forensics. Of course in that time she's not really supposed to be interested in that stuff. She's supposed to be a proper lady in like taking tea with her family and her fathers are definitely discourages her from those interests with her uncle and now Thomas Cresswell. They try and solve the mystery of Jack the Ripper. And the final book I want to talk about is Camino Island by John Grisham. This is probably one of my favorite John Grisham books and it's he writes legal fiction which I really enjoy. Usually his books are more set in the courtroom with lawyers and stuff but this one starts out with the theft of F. Scott Fitzgerald's manuscripts from Princeton University. So that's the first storyline and then it also follows the storyline of Mercer who's an inspiring young novelist and then kind of the two storylines eventually meet up and it also introduces Bruce Cable who owns a bookstore and he deals in rare and notable books. So it kind of incorporates kind of the three storylines and definitely one of my favorite of John Grisham's. 
So now I'm going to move on to some of my other favorite bookish goodies and I'll start out with my favorite mug. This is my Animal Kingdom mug. I got it in 2014 and I just love the aesthetic of it. I love Disney and so finding this mug definitely made me very happy and it's one of my favorites. Well, not very many bookmarks but uh, this bookmark is definitely the favorite one that I have. It says, drink good coffee, read good books. And I thought that was really cute so I was glad to find this. My favorite blanket, because I usually like to wrap myself in a blanket when I'm reading. You guys may recognize this from some of my pictures. The first side is kind of this really soft gray material. And then when you flip it, it has kind of this soft merino wool type material and it's so soft and I love this. And lastly, I wanted to mention my favorite tea. This is Organic Cream Earl Grey from David's Tea and it's delicious. I drink both tea and coffee. I always have tea or coffee in my photos and I like both equally. I thought I'd just share my favorite tea with you guys. So that's it for my bookish favorites. Thank you guys for watching. I link the books down in the description bar below as well as my Instagram and Goodreads. Please leave a comment below of some of your favorite items and favorite books as well if you have any ideas for a video you'd like to see. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. Bye.